Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Austrian Federal State Level, but right now we are doing Merge Constituent Companies. The companies of our defeated constituents have to be dealt with then. That means taking and making them subsidiaries under better Austrian companies. They may not like it, but we as always say it is for the greater good of Austria. But don't forget the people. It seems that the public believes we've done too little to help them. Yet another accident as we seem to have forgotten them. Let's let them know that we're still here to guide them. Building some public works will alleviate the issue, which will help us immediately. But of course, we can wait to do that later, but I don't really care. We'll build up more roads later on anyway, so. And the A&I. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, we're here and we're there. we got to make some decisions. We'll go to war with the, the Germans over here. We'll go to war with the French over here. But we still have some other focuses to do, such as maximize fire support. Units must be properly equipped to be effective. The more support they have, the better they will perform with less casualties. This not only includes artillery, but trucks to evacuate the wounded. Per Proper reconnaissance and maintenance units, and so on. Once you do a 5 million manpower, and I did convert some of these guys to 40 combo with infantry, not all of them, half of them ish. 29% or 29 divisions, I guess, in total. They're looking pretty thick, but obviously we need more equipment here because we got a lot of red artillery, tanks, anti air. But we're just kind of watching the world kind of burn, honestly. Um, <clears throat> I've begun justifying on the Italians. We got some comments to go through as well. But yeah, I've been justifying on the Italians just because. Why not? If we have the if we have the Holy See under our rule, under our thumb, then they know that God is with us. God's Matunes. So Italy seeks to join the faction. Well, we won't kill them if they want to join our faction, I guess. We'll do that. If they don't if they join us, then we'll be good. Um uh, if they do an alliance with the Kaiser, we'll kill them off. The Italian block Oh, no, they do that we'll kill them off too, and send with the Entente once more. I really don't know which way they're gonna go. And I can't tell how long the uh, that focus how long that focus is gonna do, but how long it takes, but whatever. As we're trying to build up more military factories, more refineries, more civvies, more roads, we just need a lot of things. We're very needy here. Very, 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 very needy. But that's okay. Because we all need, well, the Kaiser Auto in our life, but, you know, whatever. Couple comments up. Uh, let's see. Do the changings again in Equestrian War. I have played as them, and my god, I was so frustrated with that campaign. And maybe I will again. Maybe I will and beat myself senseless with another changings campaign in Equestrian War again sometime. Uh, someone says 100% stability is broken. Yes, it can be very broken, especially with all the extra political power, the division, organization, factory output, less resistance target to occupied territories helps out. Someone says we should occupy all former Austro-Hungarian lands, including like Venice. So, well, we're kind of already working on that. Not bad. <clears throat> and someone says Deus vote. So I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go down with these right here. We should go with give the poor a chance versus as well as we're here we're there as versus give the poor a life in the military which is very strong oh look at that as well as got some tunes um so overall like there's support for both sides however at the time of this recording at 9 49 p.m est and someday in november at the there is just slightly slightly more support more for Give the poor a chance because someone did say like that 100% stability is very strong. So even though we do not believe in democracy on this channel, I do take in mind the consideration what everyone thinks and wants. So we will go with we're here, we're there. So <clears throat> and even though oh they join the Rex back, that's not good, huh? Interesting. Conscription of the poor, huh? Oh, there goes Ukrainian People's Republic of Soviets. They're gone. So now that, that complicates things even more. Even though I w I want to do this one, I want to do this one so badly, but you guys recommended we should do this, so. We shall. Oh, yeah, there goes Rome. So that does open up. That might make him capitulate the Third International. Polish State do be looking kind of thick, which is not very good for us. We're going to get a lot more divisions, actually. I hope you like the name of our 40 combo with divisions. So we could go to War of the Reich's Pact. That's a pretty big border. I'd rather have them take out the Third International and then for us to defend against these guys, so. Yeah, you know what? Just go and do that. We're going to be out of equipment anyway. It's just fine. Uh, you guys are there. That's good. We're still trying to do a lot of this other blueprint stuff, which is going to be pretty nice as well. Uh, you guys, you eight go right here. You're going to form a brand new theater here because we got massive borders here. Montana now? Cool. Nice. Let's see. What do we have here? Uh, Otto? Yes. Paul of the Rashidi Emirate? Yes. Yes. Uh, Lothar Rundelik? Julius Rengel? Edward Neuberger? Or just Barger? 
not new burger, but burger. You can have that upgrade, and then you, Franz Boim, boom, something like that. Also, Van Scurrier Hall. So we do have no one over there. So, um, hmm. But we do have to guard against these Italian lands too. So, something like that. I'm re really just waiting for the Russians to go to war with them as well. Also, we're building up our navy quite a bit too. So that's good too. You guys go right to there. Hmm. Really do want to go to war with them like that, but whatever. Anything else here? No, no. Looking pretty good. Could use uh, refiners looking okay. Use slightly more tungsten. Plenty of political power. We did go down to partial mobilization, which does suck, but that's okay for now. Um, planes, don't forget the people. Phoenix would be very nice to get. We'll probably grab that one. I like Phoenix quite a bit. So, capital ship manufacturers, not bad. Bigger deck size. Sign us up and give the poor a chance. The poor people of Austria have no money. Thus, we should give them another optional chance. The factory is earning a wage. Industry shall be their lifeblood and a pipeline to survival. The supply of workers will give our factories a little jolt, too. And also, it does help. I mean, we are close to 100% war support already. So, in doing this, it's hard to get stability than war support, at least in my opinion. So, I think that's the right choice. But I'm really questioning why is the Russian Republic not doing anything? Why are you not attacking anybody else? Uh, propaganda leaflets. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be able to collapse at all, or... Seems like a really small tree here. But, can you please go to war with the Germans? Oh, we need some more millies. We always gotta be making more millies, so... There you go. There you go. That's the last one for that one. Which is good. Maintenance companies for the tanks. It is, of course, 1940 still, so let's get some of that. Nice. Yeah, we're all out of this stuff, too, so... Uh, go and replace this one with another medium. That'd be nice. Ah, go and grab for one more rubber. Why not? Advanced cruiser holes. Nice, nice, nice. Grab some of that, because you can. Uh, advanced carrier holes, huh? Nice. Get some more hangar space. That'd be good. Level 3 of these guys. Level 2 is fine. Level 3 is fine as well. Get rid of that and go right there. Nice. Good. As we're just building ourselves up. Um, honestly, how much are we out? A lot of artillery, a lot of anti-air. Go and convert you guys over to anyways. we do that too. <laughs> Well, I guess we could probably just go to war with them now, but I, I want to see the Third International dead first. Or at least the French to capitulate, because I want them to focus mostly on me. So we'll have one massive front line here, which we might not be able to hold out against, but oh well. And then we'll have these guys under two. How, how much manpower does this Germany actually have? Nice, that's going to be very good too. Not even a million. Huh. We must have lost a lot of guys. Maybe after this one, it'll be good to maximize fire support later on, but... <clears throat> You are safe with us. Oh! More division speed organization. Recruitable population factor. Attack and defense on core territory. Or we're here, we're there. Just because, uh... Well, that'd be good to do. And that's stability super nice to have. We are eternal. We are on the present. The OAE will follow you wherever you go. We are there to help you. To bring you what is necessary. As long as you keep within the party ideology and principles... You will receive assistance from the OAE in small but meaningful, meaningful ways. Yes, Big Brother's always watching. We need a casual 6,600 more artillery pieces. Nothing too big. Nice, so that's all done. Passive defense, perhaps? Can we get any volunteers? Gamelon? Yeah, we can. Just to test out to see how strong the Germans are. Can we actually... Hmm... Try it. Oh, good things. Yes. Why am I helping out the Reds? Just because I want to see how much damage we can do to the Germans. Oh, well, this is kind of nice. See how much they're doing. How strong are the Germans? This will give us a little, give a little taste to see how strong they are. Nice. Underground parts of activity? Oh boy. Just to see, just to monitor. Tactical bombers, yes please. We definitely need more planes though. We're definitely not ready for any major war. Um, 
There you go. Keep, keep working on that stuff. Come on, Divisions. Where are you going to be? In a few days. Okay, that sucks. Bomb explodes. Oh, pray for the victims. That sucks. That's all we can say. That sucks. There we go. Even the, look at them. They're getting invaded out there too. Uh, I'm not really sure where to send guys. Okay, to the front. Led by Matena. More defense, maybe. Just so we can see something here, just see how strong these guys are. Go here, do this one. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, they're desperately trying. Seriously, I'm, I'm really disappointed that the Russians are not trying to fight these guys. Why? So, Von Braun. Von um, Braun. Well, hmm. Give the poor a chance. We're here. We're there. We're everywhere. If anything, it really makes more sense for you guys to come over here. And have the roughly 67 divisions come over this side. Uh. This one's fine. So, can you win here? I guess the real question is are you going to get attacked here? Oh, they are taking through there, though. Interesting. Come on, as soon as I show up, they stop doing that. Man, that sucks. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, they're taking a suit. Nice, finally we get attacked. Let's see, how are we doing here? So the Germans can pierce the armor on these boys. Somewhat. Not completely, but somewhat. How much are we learning here? Learning anything? Not too much. Not too much yet. Yon Yakir. Do we have a superiority? Yeah, we do. That's good. Good to see that. I just, I just don't want to invade these guys. I just wanted to be a free win over here. More millies are nice. Nice, nice. Oh, what's this? Something was there. Cool. <clears throat> keep training, keep training. Do you guys have any upgrades? No, no, no. No, okay. Good. About a week left. It, this, 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 this mod definitely gets really laggy here. Holy crap. Well, he's learned a little bit more. He's an app percent now. Why are the Germans struggling so much, though? Well, what we could do... Take out the Germans and then invade the Russians. But then again, we still don't have a lot of artillery. They don't have that much manpower left. You guys have plenty of manpower. Motivated murder, huh? Skoda. It's not bad. But I prefer just general tank stuff. Yeah, just Wiener Neustädtler Locomotive Fabrik. Just because eventually we will get medium tanks, or not medium, modern tanks. And that'll be, they'll be very good to use. Oh, they are attacking like, no, a little crazy. Oh, we're actually losing there a little bit. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Struggling, struggling, struggling. Ooh, there goes those guys too. We could help out over here too, but I'm just not interested in Spain. I'm sorry. I just don't care that much. <clears throat> oh, uh, Sigismund, no, nothing. Okay, that sucks. Jim von Habsburg, how much of an organizer are you? 22% of the way there. Okay, not bad. Ranger, infantry leader, good. Now is it 19%? 19%. It's good, 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 good. Oh, there goes London. Hmm. Not bad. There's some naval XP left. 
Just in case. Keep learning, keep learning. Oh, they pushed in a little bit. If we were to join the war, how strong are the poles actually still? Quite a bit of manpower. And these poles sell quite a bit. Be pretty dangerous if we decided to invade. Could we pull it off though? And you guys hold the line, you guys can push in. I mean, it would be possible, but god dang, I just want the Russians to attack. Why is it so difficult for them to attack? Hmm. Just take the UK. Just take the UK first. How's the UK? This doesn't make any sense. You just leave. My goodness. Such foolish people. So foolish. There we go. Four days left for advanced ship torpedoes. What's this? Illegal opposition. Nice. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh. This looks like you're almost in my lands, but you're not. How's this war going for them? Not bad. A lot better than, for the, than these guys. Volunteer only. And you're on limited conscription. Wow. That's pretty bad. So a little bit ahead of time. And we'll do that one if we're a little ahead of time. So it's not bad. Come on, Canada. You can do better than that. Oh, are we losing? Not on my watch. They're just freaked out. Eretria. You guys done training yet? Or are you just killing yourselves here? Or what's going on? We're here and we're there. You are safe with us, of course. The people are safe under the OAE, not under the SDAP, not under the CS, and not under the Kaiser. We know what's best, not these foolish old politicians. Austria is a bulwark in the face of these evil socialists who eye us at every turn. We will shield our people from their gaze, from the darkness of the socialist mind. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Oh boy, the struggle is quite real over here. And we don't need any more guns, right? We're still at 467,000. Thank God he's okay. What? What is this whole collapse thing? I don't understand. Yeah, we can't do this one yet, so we have to wait for that one. I don't know which one I want to kill off first, you know. Kind of sucks. Come on, Canada, please. Just win over here. Hmm. Navy. I prefer capital ships and them doing all sorts of damage. Von Hedegoose? I like Von Hedegoose. What's this? Industry sustains a peasant. So now we get 2.08 political power every single day. Way more construction speed. And output. Which is nice. Only minus 5,000. Minus 1,200. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And, and this time is really good for us too. Just because, look at that. We're building ourselves up quite a bit more. I don't understand how we can just hold out here and just stay here. Why is it so bad like this? Italian Federation? And what are the Russians up to? VBSR. Well, you're kind of tired of this, so. I, honestly, I want to go to war with them, but we'll probably wait. Probably do a few more focuses off screen just to see what happens. So we'll do maximize the fire support. Um, other than that, we will probably go and do modern. Uh, Auftrag Statica? Statactic. Alfstrag Statik, or mission type tactics, have been successfully adopted during the Valkyrie. These tactics involve high command, giving clearly defined missions that subordinates would work independently to accomplish, giving the latter great flexibility and encouraging initiative. Alfstrag Statik can be adopted for modern war and applied to the new doctrine. Well, everyone, the Russian Republic and her allies decided to go to war with Germany, so Germany's going to be slowly dying on two fronts, and I figured, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go ahead and just invade as well, just because. I want to make sure that we get those cores on the German lands, and I apologize for taking so long with this, but... Enthauptung des Preußischen Adlers. Bavaria is rightfully part of Germany, of Austria, not Germany. Silesia is rightfully Austrian too, and not the property of the vile Prussians or lesser Germans. We'll take what we can by uh, force, as there is no way that they would willingly give up their land to us. Let the battlefields decide the fate of Bavaria and Silesia. So after that, um, we might just focus on the Reds after that. I don't know, we'll see what happens, because the Reds... 
They're not doing so well up here, as you can tell by Canada doing some good damage. And the French, well, we could probably deal with them as well. But we'll see. You never know. Um, what's up next? Invite others to join the Vienna Circle, which I will get rid of that stupid little Czech Austrian place soon enough. Skoda would not be bad. I like armor technology. It is 41, though. Hmm. What is this one? Yeah, we'll probably own this one next anyways. Declare the Gross Österreichisches Reich. We stand above all else in the world as the purest and most awe-inspiring race on the planet, the Germanic race. The Aryan race is the most noble bloodline and culture. And now with Berlin firmly in our hands, we have the most noble homeland as well. It's finally time to realize a pan-German dream, supported by Liebenfeld's Arisophist and racialist views, occultist influences, and dogmatic faith in God. Long live the greater Austrian Empire. Which is, we get all these cores, which is just so important. So good. But... We're also going to do uh, KUK Fliegerkohl, formerly known as a KUK Fliegerkohl uh, Truppen. The Fliegerkohl is the air service of Austria-Hungary. It was stretched thin during the Valkyrie and had a limited number of aircraft at its disposal. Since the end of the war, little was done to rectify this as funding became scarce. With the military receiving substantial funds once more, modernizing and expanding the Fliegerkohl is finally possible. Nice. So, we're going to go ahead and go to war, and pretty much just let us go right on in. On the date, there you go. Russian boots march west of Germany. There you go. Russia is seemingly being recovered, so I figured just just go ahead, just destroy them for now and just end them, just straight up end them. Was Uzlak's ground support plan? Battlefield or Lors just stuff? Yeah, we're probably not going to go Lors because right now we are going to go battlefield support. So Uzlak's ground support plan. Milan Emil Uzlak is the first commander of the Luftwaffe Truppen and remains influential within the general staff and the Fliegerkorps. He believes that the Fliegerkorps exists mainly to support the army in its, in its operations. Therefore, the Air Force must focus on fighter aircrafts to maintain the air superiority and light bombers to attack enemy positions on the front. Uh, guys, can you? Oh, it's not you guys. You guys. Oh, I didn't give you. Or oh, no, I didn't give you orders. I thought. Oh, you are. Some of you are moving in. Not everyone is though, which is weird. And we'll go to war with the Italians as well. Uh, I'll go to war with the, the Poles. We're going to take as much land as humanly possible before everything else just f falls apart here. Mm. Guys. Sorry, Germany, but it has to be done. Not really sorry, though. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. And we're going into uh, Italy as well. I think. Uh, if we are war, though. What? What? Why do we need world tension to be hired to go to war with these guys? Oh, also we should probably stop training these guys then. There we go. Alright, not bad. And get some more extraction. Yeah, we're just flooding into Germany. I mean, it makes sense. I'm sorry, Germany. I'm sorry. We're not really going to kill you off anyways. War propaganda against the German Empire? Yeah, I could probably use that. Oh, and now we can go... Oh, the Italian Federation claims Trentino. The surgeons in Redentism. Since reuniting the country, the Italian Federation has laid claim to the state of Trentino. Currently held by Austrian federal state of... Uh, Austrian citizens of the region are understandably alarmed, although native Italians already started protesting in the streets and demanding that they be reunited with the motherland. How dare they? Go, 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 go. Take as much land. I'll oh, claim post -Nogia. Whatever, who cares? Morocco. AOG. It's all right, because the Russians are just going to come smashing into these guys anyway, so they're going to die pretty quickly. Welsh Union, sure. Oh, there's two divisions there now, but we still win there. Nice. You guys are 40 combo with so. Well, that can flick. <clears throat> A thousand losses. It's not bad. Okay, I'll send 200 of them, huh? Oh, we're floating in here too. Nice, good. We'll, we got to take as much land as possible. I'm sorry, Germany, but not really. Oh, they really don't want us to take Berlin, do they? Nice. There you guys back into the line. The Russians are definitely moving in pretty quickly. Even the French now are, which is good to see. The Canadians are being beaten back now, which kind of sucks, because I don't want to invade them, but whatever. I just want these cores, man. We gotta get these cores. The various gotta be ours. All of Germany's going to be ours, so. What are the tanks doing? Still moving around here? Not bad, actually. I want you guys to go, come closer to Germany. If Germany dies, then they all die. Nice. 
Oh, there goes the Polish state. That's good. Actually, that's really good. Looks like the French are still on the move, which is good. 41. Uh, get some better tanks. Player plans. I, I mean, I want Phoenix and all, but like... Eh. Range, agility. That's not a bad for tactical bombers, but we're using cast, so... Uh, let's just do that one. Why not? This is not bad. Third international still here. Oh, oh. That is not good to see that. Maybe there's a lot of an update at the time of this recording, maybe? Ooh, that's not good. Um, hmm. Come on, tanky boys. Nice. Of course, we don't have a very good air force, but we still have green air somehow. Huh. Not sure I understand how we have green air, but whatever. Go and take Berlin. Nice, good. Yeah, this would be really good to do. Well, Berlin. There we go. Um, how's the army doing down here? You guys are fine as well. Just go in if you can, but how about you guys? Well, why did you... Who the hell put you over here? Are you kidding me? Game. You know, it's so bad when the, en the engine is so bad. What am I for? Just, just go the other direction. It's just so laggy. There you go. There you go. Once these guys are done, we'll turn these guys up north. Ooh, yes. Oh, look at that. Nice. Do we really need more guns? Yeah, no. We need more motorized, actually, if anything. Uh, get some more of this. German-Japanese war, which is fine. Whatever. We don't really care. Oh, we need so much rubber. So much rubber. Well, the Polish day is kind of dead, so I'm not really too concerned about that one. Just saying. Sure, guys. Sure. Come on, get to the Baltic Sea. Oh, yeah, they're definitely pushing back out through here. I mean, we're going to need a lot more planes where we're headed, but... I don't know if we actually have any room for them. Oh, uh, that's fine. No rubber. Hey, we made it. We made it all the way to the sea. Awesome. There we go. So we've killed off. 480 some thousand of them. That's a lot. I mostly just wanted to not go to the war. Just because I want, like I said earlier, I want Third International to die. But at the same time, uh, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to have a stronger German so we had to take him out. And again, the Ottoman is still fighting them, but they're probably going to be pushed out eventually, so. We need Königsberg too. It's just going to take some time, that's all it is. Lots and lots of time. Oh, look at that. Oh, the Polish is still down here. Take the port. Tanks should do fine. The 40 combo with it, I think, if I remember correctly, so. Nice. Not that many divisions left. Come on, Italy, you got to fall. Come on. Let me do some coffee today as well. Nice. These guys have been cut off, but they do have a port, port there. Fall of Lisbon. Nice. Good. It's actually very, 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 very good. Some more attack bombers. Get some more, a few more light tanks if we really need them. Uh, no, we don't. We need way more anti-air, though. Flying formation, good. Let's go with his designs for now. 
Things you know they'll capitulate. Oh, look at this. This is so much better now. Holy cow. Hey, we got Königsberg too. Look at that. Nice. So, look. Oh, wow. 2,000 manpower. That's not good. very good. Stockpile wise, they're completely out. I mean, we're going to lose a lot of men, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. Collapse of the Architect. There we go. Awesome, 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 awesome. Which means it's going to lag super hard here, and I'll see you when it stops lagging. Are you fucking kidding me? Stop. Well, everybody, welcome to the Gros Osterreichisches Reich. In which we are looking pretty good. We got even more manpower now. We got more, a lot of factories. And actually, right now, um, I just want to go to war with the communists. Or communards, I should say. This is not going to be good for us. And we're going to deal with this in just a little bit. But overall, like, I'm going to deal with this too. But once we deal with this group, this group should be okay over here. So, yeah, we're surrounded by quite a few reds all around here. Um, I just decided to take all the Germany just because we could. So... No big issue, but the French communists have been a thorn in Austrian interest for far too long. They do not believe in the greatness of God. Let, let us bring that back to them. Our fair light will bind, blind their nation and reconfigure their minds. The only way to do this, however, is by force. They will not give up so easily. Also, I did take Poland just because we literally capitulated them, so we took Poland, which I think is the proper thing to do. Erflug Schule from the KUK Flugschule. While there are numerous flying schools across Austria-Hungary, there has never been a centralized academy to coordinate the training of pilots and officers for the Flieger Corps. The creation of such an institution is essential to the reforms as it will create a new generation of officers and pilots, while also streamlining the corps into something less ad hoc. So, I don't really plan on like, advancing too far into the enemies, I just want to like defend. So, yeah, we don't need, we don't have a lot of divisions here, do we? Also, I, I also did deploy a couple of divisions early, just because we needed to, so you actually go back here. Runs, not bad. Also, we do have the Suez Canal. War is ravaged by the lifeline of empires and enterprises, leaving its narrow track filled with debris of sunken vessels, crash airplanes, and deliberate sabotage attempts by both sides. With the MOJ abolished, the question of the future of the Suez returns once more to the forefront. Uncertainty remains with regarding to the identity of the future guardians of the canal, even in the Suez, its own, Suez zone itself. Companies are awaiting funds to clear the Suez blockade. All nations who guarantee the independence of the Suez International Zone receive access to the repara uh, reparation effort decision, which will with a shared timer. So... There you go. Uh, I don't mind doing maybe a little bit here. You can, you can have some effort. So hopefully we don't lose here. And is this owned by France? It is, which is really weird, but whatever. Can you guys actually just go in? These guys have been called in. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's go. Austria declares war. This time would be different. Well, hopefully. Maybe we're actually doing relatively okay around here-ish. And here-ish too. I don't do anything over there, which is kind of weird, but okay. Uh, let's make sure we go to war with these guys too. Actually, I definitely want to go to war with these guys if we can, but we cannot. It sucks. Okay, you guys just keep hanging out. How strong is France? I probably should have asked that before I went to war. A lot of social democrats. Oh, they're not too weak. And actually, for you guys. Because they will be attacking like crazy. Do that. And since these guys are in the war now, I don't know how many divisions to put on here, so I just like made a front line. Or fallback line, I should say. You guys might actually be able to win here, which would be great. Kill these divisions off. We're doing really well in the low countries, though. And you guys. Yeah. Why do we need world tension to be so low? I don't understand that. That makes no sense. Fine, I don't care about these guys for now. What do we have here? Small repatriation effort. Probably against the French, that's fine. And we can move through here quickly enough. I mean, that'd be really great. Oh, yeah, you guys are here. You guys are just holding the line. Like, this guy's gonna get hit pretty darn hard, so I, I definitely don't want these guys to move. Definitely, 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 definitely do not want them to move. It's fine. We can, I mean, we're doing okay up here. I like it. I like it a lot. Better not lose, though. Of course, some of you guys are just not even here. Daddy's thick sons. Yes. It's not bad over here. Of course, we don't have air superiority now. Which sucks. So. It's going to be quite grindy. But we're doing okay. We're definitely doing okay here. Um, call it German Bohemia. I mean, look at the Union of England. Not bad. Uh, let's see. French Republic. We've killed off almost 200,000 of them already, which not bad. Not bad at all. Fuel would not be bad to grab. Keep working on air doctrine, land doctrine, naval doctrine doesn't really matter too much. 
Uh, get some better tanks. There you go. You best hold out and not die here, son. You best not die. This is looking really good. A lot better than I thought it would be already. Nice. Get the next level. Because, my God, are we out of rubber? We almost cut these guys off in half, which is really nice, too. Xander, do you have anything for us? No? Helvetic group. Why are we only doing you? If anything, we should probably be doing the Russians. Passive defense would be nice. They're really squiggly around here. Not bad. Do they have any... They should have guns, right? No, they don't have any guns or artillery. Oh, they're trying to make some. What are they on? They're on volunteer only. Well, okay. Oh, subsidize? Why do we get this? Research rubber processing as well. Oh, look at this. These guys have been cut off. Nice. That's pretty good. After this one, let's go ahead and do what? Expand the Austrian air bases? The new technology longer range model plans gives us great opportunities, both military and economic. If we use this bases for or uh, for the Fliegel Corps, it allows us to gain air superiority without losing thousands of men. It can also be used for flying in new products and stimulate local economies. Pretty much. 41, 41, 41. Yeah, go with that one. You never know. Oh, it's actually mixed air now. Nice. Oh, now it's red. God dang it. Well, Paris is hopefully going to be... Uh, well, there it already is a frontline city. I don't understand why we can't go to war with these guys and these guys. It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. Oh, now we have Paris. Yay! And... <coughs> The spent civil war still going on in Spain. Jesus Christ, guys. You guys push too. If we can move through here quickly enough, that'd be good. You guys are fine down there. Um, it's a lot of red. Which I don't like, obviously, but still. You know what? Can you guys actually do something here, maybe? Maybe? Yes? Good? Oh, they have actually been cut. Have they been cut off? Oh, uh, no. But once these guys die, then these guys will be easier to take out, too. Oh, okay, then. It's a lot easier than I thought. Okay, I thought they joined the Third International first. I'm like, oh, my God, no. Oh, my God, no. Kill these guys off, and we'll keep pushing in here. That's going to be one big old circle. But look at all that manpower we've got. So I'm not really too concerned. We lost 200,000 people. Not bad. That's why I wanted Germany and... The third and natural just be softened up as much as possible. Actually, what's Africa looking like? It's all just one. Yeah, it's a mess. Okay, never mind. Yeah, well, that's what it always, that's what it always is. Um, he's really good on attack. He's really good. There you go. Oh well. Yep, looks like we're going to have to manually justify them. Which we can, which I don't understand. Why? They have nowhere to run. Nice. Four. Um, keep working on that stuff, I guess. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Sure, why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get some of that rubber. Oh, that's actually really good. I should have done that earlier. Very, 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 very good. Dive bombing is nice. Oh, there they go. Now they're attacking us. Good. I was hoping they would. Why don't you guys hold? Just hold. Hold the line. That's all I want you to do is hold the line. Because I know these guys are going to get attacked really crazily. Uh oh. Oh, we need some naval bombers there, too. Oh, actually, you know what? Since we're here. Are there any spare planes? Got some cast. You can do some naval bomber stuff. New fighters. Oh my gosh, we got so many crappy planes. Um, and war bombers, not bad either. Yeah, I definitely need more fighters. Using more rubber. Nice. Interwar naval bombers. Yes. Very good. How strong are these guys actually? Uh, some manpower. Also, we did annex. If you can't tell already, the northern Italian group. So they're gone, as they should be. Nice. 
Ooh. Oh, another case. Yes, jolly good. A lot, a lot of battles going on. We've lost a quarter million. We've killed 60,000 of those guys. We've killed off 1.1 million Frenchies, though. I do want to at least take out Russia. I don't know if we can actually take out the Entente, but I think take out Russia would be very nice, too. Fighter trials. Aircraft development is advancing at an amazing pace. In order to keep up, trials are to be held to, to adopt a new fighter aircraft for the Fleet Corps. After all, fighters are arguably the backbone of the Air Force and will help ensure the safety of our skies. Not a bad idea. Yes, and I'll get Phoenix, because I'll probably get them eventually. Another Bell Creek, a small company in Vienna, bearing the name Phoenix Company. Oh, look at Finland, they're gone. Uh, supplied our airports by producing licensed German planes for our market. Since then, the company's experienced with, experimented with various designs, some of which might be the key to modernizing the Flieger Corps. For now, yeah, it's fine. Nice. Just so many dead. I don't want to fight the UK. But if we have to, we have to. Look at this. Otto, he's learning a lot. I'm made sure Otto was actually here doing this one. So if anyone else. Alright, so fighters. You come to the bottom. You're gonna be like the garbage pin or the gar trash pan. We throw everything else in. It's fine. Oh yeah, actually you guys should be fighting them too. I don't know why we can't go to war. It makes no sense. <laughs> Well, next. Oh, okay. Also, Paris against Moscow. Well, I mean, they've technically already fallen, so. What? what? You guys actually win here, too. I wonder if we could just push out. I kind of doubt it, but we could try it. So, 41 is almost 42, so grab some of this. And maybe work on some nuclear tech. I don't know if that's why I actually use nukes in the time of this recording. A road communist legacy, yes. Our efforts to convince the French people that the communist legacy, our government is and always will be an Ill illegitimate construction, as well as their true oppressor. If their will to fight on behalf of the syndicalist collapses, there will be no little opposition to our occupation. Nice. It looks like the American uh, Union State is doing pretty well, but it sucks that they're fighting on several different fronts. Do we long still do we be doing okay? CC Young? MacArthur? Still could be anyone's bore. I don't care about that stuff. I was thinking about taking these guys out too, but we'll see. That's so dumb. Why can't we go to war with them? Ah. Fighter trials, Phoenix. Medium bomber trials. The potential of a versatile medium two-engine bomber for a variety of different missions has caught the attention of high command. Since a tactical bomber would be very useful for the Fliegel Corps, aircraft manufacturers are once again competing in trials for the next generation of bombers. You just go in. Azerbaijan, huh? The claim, yeah, I don't really care about that. Yeah, you guys need some more air. You need air, period. Nice. Does it help us out a little bit? Mm, yeah, but not much. Not by much. Cool. Some more air. Because I completely forgot about this stuff earlier. My bad. They were doing pretty darn well against these guys, surprisingly. They're running out of manpower, which is good. Uh, equipment wise, I got plenty of equipment, at least guns for now. It's going to quickly drop, though. It's good to see. Even a fuel. Do I dare risk having our fleet come out? Oh! Okay. Wow. What are we building up? Anything? A lot of roads, I mean, it's not bad, but get a lot of rubber. Lots and lots of rubber. Some more radar. Some more radar. This is not bad at all. Why is it so easy? Or relatively easy, I should say. I'm going to rush these guys out, as you can see, but... Still. Going train as well. Not bad. 
I'm doing this too to get our guy some uh, XP as well. Oh, look at that. Three ships. Nice. Otto, what have you learned? Infantry expert? Yes, please. There you go, Phoenix. There you go. Nice. What else do we have here? 42. Happy 42, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Great, 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 great year. Oh, better light tanks. Nice. Um, it's not bad. Do we lose anything? We lose speed. So we get more speed then. Nice. And we're gonna, need, we're gonna need some naval bombers, let's be real. Yeah, you guys go there. Uh, is that a fort? No, there's no fort, huh? Nice. Come on, break over, break over. Hey, we're done with that. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. We could invade there, but I don't really feel like it. Um, if anything, I'll probably have you guys invade here, and then have you guys invade right here. Move quickly enough. Uh, you guys do that, you guys do that. It's fine, it's fine. What? Why are you in the water? Oh my gosh. You know how dangerous that is, you stupid idiots? Holy crap. Yes, it's gonna take a while to do that, but that's okay. After that, um, we don't have any way to go to old friends of Bulgaria, well... They're already in a faction, so. Really, my main goal is to go to war with the uh, Entente next, I guess. Just Russia, really. I don't care about taking out the Entente. I just want Russia. And maybe the Ottomans. Maybe the Ottomans, too. Yeah. I think a lot more rubber. Let's see. Build, build a bigger navy, too. Just in case we have to invade. <clears throat> we need a lot of rubber. Holy crap. Uh, do we have any naval bombers? That's a good question. Do we do have some? Are we making any, though? I don't see that blue anywhere, so that's a bad thing that I've forgotten about. Not good, not good. Oh, Very nice. Don't spread out a little bit more, you'll be fine. Hopefully. And you have no carriers either, which we should probably work on getting a carrier out. Yeah, we, we are. We are. Which is good. Plenty of PP. Mm, they don't really care about the large repatriation efforts. So this one was not bad. I'm going to go back up to Phoenix, though. It's fine. These guys are still struggling, which is fine. Um, okay, so this is stupid. You have an good pact with them and their leader. <clears throat> that was a bad idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, Denmark. The bomber trials are not bad. Mm, light bomber trials? Since supporting operations of the Army is a priority for the Fleet Corps, the adoption of a live bomber aircraft for this role is necessary. Potential designs vary from relatively heavy two-engine bombers to fighters converted to dive bombers. Honestly? I might just do a lot of this off-screen, just wait till we go to war. I might just, like, manually go to war with them, because... Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the Kriegsmarine, though. The KUK Kriegsmarine has always been underfunded and unappreciated by the Austrian government and her people. Without a colonial empire, the Navy never had any real backing or strategic purpose, however. This is a dangerous mentality, and with new cynical threats in the Mediterranean, the whole new Kriegsmarine is vowed to protect our heartlands, actually. Is there a war with the Ottomans? I, I don't want to get involved when they're still fighting it down here, though. Um, yeah. Do I have council commands? Well, we could do it. Uh, do I have a non aggression pact with you guys? Yeah, I do. It sucks. <sighs> then again, I mean, we do. they are part of the Entente. You do have an honor back. God dang it, why, why did I agree to that? Hmm. Anything, we could go to up here first and take them out. Hmm. But even then, like, like, place like this. Like, so what happens if we do a loud Diplo? But I just want to justify, like, oh my god, 200, oh my. Why is it so many days? Oh my god, why? Let's take the loud Diplo off. Honestly, I'm going to go to war with them. Like, <clears throat> at this point, we might as well. Like, what's the point of waiting that long? Flexible warfare. Uh, I think we went fleet and being right. Yeah, we did. 
I usually go fleet and being so large, Navy plan. In line with traditional doctrine, the Kriegs Marine staff has decided to support their large service fleet we currently possess. Sending around large and large battleships and increasing our firepower through large na larger naval guns, these ideals will help us project our power and support land operations. Austrian capital ship plans. The staff began a concerted effort to improve upon our battleship designs, bring more firepower to our battles. Increasing the size of the guns in the armor belt allows our battleships to take far more of a beating leading attacks and deal far more damage as well uh, in, in them as well. Port of Istria. Trias and Flaume are two principal naval bases and are vitally important for overseas trade. The navy, traditionally ignored by successive emperors, has begged us to increase its spending on industrial works and naval bases in Istria and is swayed by the arguments about increased trade revenue this emperor has listened. The Kataro no. Kataro Air Base. First built in 1914 as a base from which Constance fighters or flights over the Adria were flown during the Valkyrie, the KK, KUK Air Base in the Bay of Kataro Kotor has fallen in disuse after the end of the war. However, its position close to the entry of the Adria might still prove strategically important. So I apologize for using Khan's commands, but just why? What's the point? Especially we're national populists. Get nuclear here? Are you still training? Fall of Madrid, hold it. Wow. <clears throat> so once again, I do apologize for using cons commands, but I just, I, I don't understand why it takes just so long. And why we're li literally not allowed to do this. Also, I'm gonna get rid of these goop. I'm gonna save our PP up and just annex them. Um, what do we have that we can get them? Fuel, here. And here is, there we go, and like that for now. They at least take a lot of off. I just don't want to use consequence all the time, but you know, we have to. We have to. Oh, wait, why did they end their hostilities? Oh, they lost? They lost? Nice. Also, uh, Russia took out China. I don't know when that happened. So, yeah, that's really great. Oh, that's really nice. Inter Trans Union, actually, that they do have there. Yeah, you guys should be going that way. Uh -huh. Very nice. Get off a lot of Danes. And we're just going to straight up annex them and help lower the lag too. You know what, since we're here anyways. Why would we not take these guys out too? Since we're here too. Medium tanks. Ooh, light tank destroyers, huh? We got plenty in reserve for now, so just, just going to convert them all. There we go. All right, good too. Nice, nice, nice. We can lower the amount of light tanks we're making. I mean, they're, they're pretty cheap to make, but still. <clears throat> Not bad. I want to keep making, improving our, our uh, rubber as well, but keep making some more, improving our roads. But still, so you guys over here, it's fine. You can take a small, slight break. Go over there. Uh, since we're here, anyways, let's see. Do we have anything more? Cast is fine. I prefer fighters for now, but still. Auto. You guys need some more serious stuff here. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's so many planes we have to deal with now. Oh boy. Do that for now. If we can duplicate you again, I will. It's fine. Alright, let's see. Why is it so low, huh? Um, where is it? Oh, so Wilds Canal? Oh, not taking out Denmark? Okay, whatever. Uh, so I do apologize once again, but it's going to be what it's going to be. Oh. Inundation lines? Well, let's do this before they do that. Cool. Yeah. There we go. It's fine, whatever. I don't care. Just give us a way to make this look faster for us, or like, you know. 200 some days is just way too much. It's just way too much, man. 
We gotta do all those. Uh, we'll probably also do stuff over here, Skoda. During the second Valk or the, during the Valkyrie, the Skoda works to the west of Prague was our biggest arms producer, but it's fallen on hard times with the overbearing power of the German industries. With Germany rocked to the core by Black Monday, subsidies for Skoda is a large step in repairing our economy. And Austro Dallimer. The Austro Dallimer company made us many armored vehicles and engines for warfare. German cars and engines have flooded the market in the last decades, but with Porsche teetering on the verge of bankruptcy, and Mercedes Benz looking to follow suit, it's time to breathe new life into our automotive industry. Absolutely. And there goes the Dutch. We we'll love the Dutch. Are they part of any faction here? So why don't they capitulate? Yeah, so gonna be good too. Hello. Who's this? Oh, the Reds are still down here. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, okay, so now we get them. Nice. Just take them because we can. Is this fair? Of course not, but whatever. Cool. Um, other than that, I think I'll, I'll probably end the episode here. Um, I'm probably gonna do a lot of these focuses off screen, and then, honestly. I might just begin the invasion of these guys once they, once they win the war, because they're doing pretty darn well, so we'll see what happens, I don't know. I just want to take out at least Russia, at least for the last episode. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to our video, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we're probably at war with some other people. Wow, why are, they, why are they all the way down here? But anyways, thanks for watching, have a great, 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 great rest of your day.